Alright, what's up YouTube? It's go 405 back with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we got here to Fuchsia City. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the Fuchsia City Gym Leader, Koga. Now, with Koga, he is... He has Pokemon between level 45 to 50. Now, that's a whole lot tougher than the last gym challenge where 30s could cut it. So, I've done a little bit of off-screen grinding. Everybody, Steve, Brute, Coops, Zappy, Mushu, all level 36. Oh, hold on. Wait, what? Yami. Yami. Hey, yo. Yo, have you seen a Needle King? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I didn't need you to tell me that. I was I was hoping you could tell me where my Needle King was. Okay, I, I think it's just best I look in the PC then. Uh, okay. Cubone, Spiro, Pidgey, Mankey, Nidoran, Caterpie, Metapod, Magnemite, Rattata, Gumi. There's Yami. Slavenator. Di Daiachi? 38! Okay then. Uh, sorry, Yami. I, I know you're underleveled. And I know you're a, a Nido King, which is pretty cool, but you're nowhere near as cool as level 38 Rhyhorn. Terribly sorry, Yami. But yeah, as you know, like at the beginning of the series, I said I had my entire team planned out, and originally I was not planning on actually having um on having a ride on on my team. I was planning on sticking with the Nido King, but looking up like looking um through uh learn sets and everything for him, he learns nothing after evolution. So it's just like ah, uh, he's got crap moves as is. Can I deal with crap moves with a little bit of decent stats? And overall out, no, I couldn't. So I went with the next best thing to cover uh, the types that he could. And that just happens to be my main man, Ry well, Rydon, in this generation. So, yeah. Fuchsia City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Koga. Winning trainers, Kevin. He's still one step ahead of us. Did I put Daiachi in front? Yes, I did. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. It's strategy! I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. Bring it on, bro. You really think you could do anything to defeat me? I've got four badges under my belt. And you have a Hypno. What's a Hypno gonna do for you? Aside from the fact that you have the same amounts that I do. But yeah, um, he only started with Horn Attack. I taught him the Dig H, well, TM, uh, Horn Drill I found as a TM in the Safari Zone, I believe, and Stompy just learned, like, at level 35. Uh, let's hit him with a Horn Attack. Ooh, Psychic, that's gonna do a lot. Rhyhorn does not have any good special, well, doesn't have any kind of special defense at all, and... Frickin' Psychic is not resisted by anything, and Psychic is just uberly powerful this generation. Uh, let's go Steve. Okay. Even though this is a poison type gym, they run a lot of psychic types. Why? Because Nintendo knew for a goddamn fact psychic was overpowered as fuck in Generation 1, so they made the poison gym full of psychic types also. Oh man, at least Steve is able to frickin' hit a frickin' power punch on them. Hit a power punch, okay. Uh, okay, gonna go and heal Daiachi because he is supposed to be the star player for this gym. Because as you know, for this entire series, I have had Pokemon to be the star players of each gym. And in this gym where it's supposed to be poison types, they're packing psychic types and it's just like, I already, like, I already have planned out for who's gonna be the frickin' aces of the rest of the gyms. It's like, like, I can't use Daiachi for, um, for, uh, Sabrina, because that's too much special attack. Hell, the special attack stats of them is basically treating it like frickin', like, Stab Waterfall or something, Stab, uh, Surf or something. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Oh 
Okay. A juggler. What's with the psychic types? Come on! That's kind of very stupid. With Drew? With Drew Drowsy to send out Drowsy. What? That made no sense! Can someone please tell me what that guy is thinking? Send out Drowsy! Oh, no, no, wrong Drowsy! Uh, return Drowsy! Go Drowsy! See, and this one's faster! I swear, if this was actually the one he sent out to begin with, then this guy was stupid. Ah, oh, man, it's freaking cold. For some reason, for some reason, it's been warm for the past couple days, and then just out of nowhere today, it's just been cold as hell, and Kadabra, you are stupid for using Recover when you had full HP. Because you have no kind of physical defense, Daiachi sweeps you under the table. And a drowsy. What is with this guy? He's just getting curb stomped. Yes! Okay, I'm really getting lucky with the poison not affecting me here. Like, right, 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 eh, right now. Drowsy. I also study the way of the ninja from Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. They have a long history of using their surroundings to their advantage. Tamer wants to fight. Tamer sent out Arbok. This is actually a fair fight. By fair, I mean, I have the advantage! Please do not poison. Please do not poison. Thank you. Daiachi, you kill some shit. Killing that shit. Woof, level 39. Sand Slash? Uh, just based off of type advantage, I would switch into Koops. Then I don't think we've actually ha seen Koops battle since he's evolved. Well, you guys haven't. I have. Koops, you surf! Boom! Good game, Sand Slash. You had no chance. And another Arbok. Back to Daiachi. <laughs> Ooh, critical hit. Or oh, nurse, you're scary. Now have a dig attack for the road. I don't know why I am so hype right now. It's like, I don't know, like, I enjoy recording usually anyway, but it's just like, out of nowhere, like, okay, I went the wrong way. I didn't even realize that there was a path right there. Yeah, you can faintly see the path you need to follow here. Whereas in the remakes, you couldn't see shit. <laughs> Sand Slash. Uh, I don't think Sand Slash even learns any ground type moves through level up. Or at all in this generation. But still, it's best that I don't risk it, so... Brute root. Slash. If I would have stuck to all, damn, that hurt. But yeah, if I would have stuck to all, to Daiachi, that would have done nothing. But then again, all my attacks would have been resisted by him, also. Actually, does Ground resist normal, or is it just Rock type? Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't see what he was sending out. Oh, Arbok. Oh shit. Uh, here's a better fighting chance. See if you can take down a Rhyhorn in one shot. Po 
poison sting. Did nothing. Another poison sting. Did nothing again. Oh, except this time it poisoned me. Okay. That's what I get for talking shit. But yeah, like, for some reason today I've just been overly hype. It's like, I've had like an unusual spring in my stuff, which is like, amazing in and of itself. It's just like, for some reason I am, like, overjoyed to be recording right now. It's like, yes! And I will go and heal after this guy. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? Uh... That I do not know. That's actually a kind of a very weird question to ask somebody, and also a question that's hard to answer. Because if you don't... Oh my god, Psychic. It's coming from a level 34 drowsy. Please let me be able to survive. Yes, but just barely. Will he be able to survive a horn attack? Yes, he will. And that was a critical hit also. Damn. Damn. Okay. Kinda scared now. Oh, let's go Zappy. It's amazing how everybody in on my team has made an appearance in this gym. If Daiachi has not been able to do anything. And I don't blame any of uh, Daiachi's failures on himself yet. Because, to be fair, this is a poison gym. But they're packing psychic types. When I first actually played through this game, like... Because like, I'm going to be honest, I didn't have the best of reading skills when I was younger. Hell, I don't have the best of reading skills now. But, like... So, like, I didn't really care to read much. I kind of just wandered around doing what I wanted. So when I came in here, I was like, oh my, like, cause I knew about, um, like, I knew about, uh, like, the type of advantage, well, some of the type of advantages, and I knew Psychic was super effective on Poison, so I was like, oh my god, I'm encountering trainers that are on their way to, cha to take on, uh, to take on Koga, and I'm pretty sure this guy just said something about dropping his balls. Walking away! Walking away! Walking swiftly away, because you cannot run in this game. Walking away. Still walking away. Walking into the Pokemon Center, because that guy freaking was a creep. Please heal my Pokemon, Miss, Miss Joy. Nurse Joy. Or whatever the hell you want to be called in game. I just realized it, but look at the chancy behind the counter. It looks like it's stoned as all hell. It's like, whoa, I'm seeing some shit, man. I'm seeing some shit. And now, I'm going to actually evolve Daiachi. Because I'm going to need Oridon's power to take this gym. Fury attack, we will... No! I didn't mean to actually get rid of Horn Attack. Damn it. A at least I didn't get rid of Dig. At least I did not get rid of Dig. Okay. I was going to get rid of, um... Of Stomp. But okay. What? Daiachi's evolving! As you see, I have a bicycle now. Uh, for, to actually train Daiachi up to level 38, I actually had to go and uh, take on the entire cycling road. So, yeah. If I actually hadn't decided to change my team at the last second bef well, at the last second um, after the last uh, video's recording, like, I probably wouldn't have even you know, have gotten the bike because... Let's, yeah, because... Can't speak. Because of uh, the fact that I probably wouldn't have needed to. Koga. 
Wahahaha. A mere child like you d dares challenge me? Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. It actually makes sense that the ninja master is of the poison of the poison typing. Well, uses poison types, because ninjas throughout uh, history have actually been known to be assassins. Well, primarily assassins and such. So actually, uh, and like one of the ways that they would kill people was through um was through poisoning them. So it makes sense. And they would also tend to uh, kill people in their sleep. So it's just like, for him to actually use Pokemon that, um, do primarily, uh, like, poison and, um, sleeping tactics. And I forgot that the Venonat line really likes to pretend that they're psychic types. At least they don't have the special attack to back it up, really. An X attack, okay. But yeah, they don't really have the, uh... Special, well, at least not currently, I don't think. Then again, non-stab, blah blah blah. But yeah, this guy has three Venonats. And you could probably assume what his last Pokemon is. And of course he put me to sleep. Wait, did I wake up right- Damn, Daiachi. You really trying to prove yourself. I respect that, Daiachi. Dang. Woo! Another X attack. What's that gonna do? Yeah, poison's physical this generation. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Tanks like me so it could do even more? Cause I don't think Venonat can even learn um can, I, can Venonat even learn any poison moves that cause damage aside from like poison powder? But yes, his last Pokemon is Venomoth. And even though Venomoth has those giant ass wings, it is still a bug poison type. Whoa, shit! Come on, Daiachi. You have the attack power to get rid of this thing. You have the attack power to kill this thing. Come on, Daiachi. You can do this. Oh! Leech life! Okay, I quad resist that. that still quite, did quite a bit of damage, but okay. Daiachi swept the gym! Let's go, Koga GG! Yes! And that, guys, is why I love the ride online. Freaking one of the most powerful Pokemon. And TM06, Toxic, is a secret technique over 400 years old. And it's actually going to get some use right now. Teach Toxic? Yes. We are going to be teaching him to Brute Root. Ball. Okay. To lead an older move for to make room for Toxic? Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Poison Powder. Poison Powder has a chance of missing. Toxic doesn't. Actually, I think Toxic has a less chance of missing. And Toxic gets worse as time goes on. Yeah. Brute Root, you're finished. You have become your ultimate power. Razor Leaf, almost guaranteed critical on a Venusaur in this generation. Body slam, just in case somebody resists his grass type moves, and I'm down to something, and he's my only thing left standing. And Toxic and Leech Seed, the deadliest combo I could think of in this generation. Woo! Strength, power, destruction. And that's just with Daiachi and Brute Root. The rest of my team, don't fuck with them. We hope to see you again. <laughs> You'll see me in Saffron City! Woo! 
it, you do not know how hype it feels. Daihachi, you freaking kick the shit out of that gym. Let's see your stats. Attack of 134, defense 115, speed and special of 52 each. Speed and special don't mean shit to a ride on. Attack stat, that is all that matters on this thing. Good game. Woo! And let's just look at Zappy, because there's nothing better to do. Look at that, Zappy sucks compared to him. Frickin' six levels ahead, double the attack. Damn. Zappy, you're a physical attack. Well, pretty mixed, though. But it's just like, damn, Zappy. You have the stats for physical. You're supposed to be special. At least you got some speed. Is there... Actually, let's, uh, see the rest of my team. 71, 91, 77, 70. Very well-rounded, Koops. Not gonna be hitting as hard as Daiachi, but... Can't always compare people to Daiachi. 81. Not bad. 84 special. Not freaking bad. Bruru, you kill some shit. And you're pretty fast for a freaking giant leaf monster. Mushu, can you stand up to the rest of your guys? Not bad. Faster than both of them. Special is a little bit... Well, about the same as, uh... As, the, as theirs. Not bad, not bad. And Steve, let's see how you fare. Special, not the best in attack. You're the second best physical attacker on the team. Then again, your primary attacking stat is physical attack, so I would hope it would be good. But yeah, let's fly to Saffron and then see some shit. Alright guys, we're gonna end it off here, about to go into the self company. Until then guys, sub, like, comment, do your thing, and I'm out. Bye!